Hey guys, welcome back to the 17th of October ECW 2006 review. She shares the same birthday, same date as a uh, GW Game of Jesus. So you'd think it'd be a great show, but in reality, we've got a big show main event. So it's probably going to be pish. We kick off the show announcing that we've got RVD finally getting this match against the big show. And we've also got the Sandman um, versus Matt Striker in a Singapore Kane on a pole match. So they announced these two matches at the start of the show. You're probably thinking there's a lot of focus going into these two matches. But there's actually five matches on the card tonight, which is a wee bit weird. Anyway, we kick off Sandman vs. Striker. Um, decent, you know, it was, it was alright. Sandman comes out, Striker follows him. They have a decent match. Striker gets the cane first. Hits Sandman with a couple of good... Night, to be honest. Hits Sandman with a couple of decent shots. Sandman gets the cane. Sandman like punches Striker and the cane flies perfectly out of Striker's hands and Sandman catches it. I mean, I don't know if they were going for this spot or whether it would just happen to happen. Like a Jackie like, Chan movie when he that was, it, it was fucking great. grabs a samurai sword. I mean, I wouldn't really expect Sandman to be able to make a catch like this, but uh, I mean, maybe Austin's good at catching the beers and Sandman's good at catching canes and diseases funny. and shit like that. So. Beers as well. Catching the drugs. Then he hits uh, Striker over the dome with a cane. A few times, Striker exits the ring, sees that he's bleeding, can't seem to handle the uh, the sight of his own blood, and he he uh, heads to the back then, and Sandman gets a DQ victory. Up next, we had a backstage interview with RVD. Decent, it was all right. Probably one of his oh, better thing. interviews. Um, he says Much he's better than when he was champ. Yeah, he says he's going to beat Big Show tonight. Then we move on to CM Punk. We the pre-rematch of last week. CM Punk wins again. Um, to be honest, getting a wee bit old of these quick two, three minute CM Punk wins. We need to see him with the, the big boys. Well, I mean, Rene Dupree was a big boy, wasn't he? Like, I mean, you know, he's the most extreme guy in he's ECW. Uh, I mean, it just goes to show you, like, why, why did Rene Dupree and, like, Shannon Moore get these fucking segments and vignettes for weeks just to get buried back to back. It doesn't make much sense to me. Well, anyway, punk. punk wins. Uh, Mike Knox comes out, gets punched off the apron. Punk offs him in the ring. Mike Knox doesn't accept. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get Punk versus Knox sooner or later. But it's not going to be this week. Anyway, up next we have... Um, what do we have? It was Test, I believe. Aye, Test comes out. Says he's the impact player, blah 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 blah. He's a big dog. Um, talks about Harko Holly not being here. Um, says that Harko will return next week. Balls Mori comes out. Says if Tess wants a fight, he's here. And they have a, a decent match considering Balls Mori was in it. Tess with the big boot and his, his mad TKO finish on neck breaker thingy gets the win. Then up next, uh, we had Big Show backstage hitting on the new um, fucking ECW. Um, backstage interview, same old boring fucking big show. I'm this a, I'm went a, ten minutes too long. Yeah, this lasted. I mean, ten times longer than RVD. So I do, all big show had to say is, "I'm a big angry giant." Nobody can beat me. I'm unstoppable. He's a chap. No, I mean, and he's on about RVD's lucky. He's stepping in the ring with the champions of champions. Fuck off, big show. Right, champions are fucking champions are dog shit. That's what you're. It was just so. He's just pish. I mean, anyone else could have made this work, and he didn't. Yep, so Big Show took a very long time. Anyway, he goes. Way he speaks is fucking slow. Slow and boring. Anyway, up next, it was Sabu versus Shannon Moore. Who's going to win? <laughs> I mean, I know Vince McMahon isn't keen on uh, Sabu, but I don't think he's going to have him job out to uh, Shannon Moore and he didn't. Sabu wins with the Arabian face buzzer. We'll fit the steel chair. Then we move on to the main event, RVD versus Big Show. As much as I like RVD, this just was not a good match. It was boring, <laughs> slow, methodical, same old Big Show shit. Yep. DDT spot that we always get. Well, there's a spot in the corner. Big Show runs into the referee, takes him out. RVD hits the frog splash. Looks like he's got the win. Tess comes out. Um, so it's been up RVD, Tess celebrating, hits him with a chair, a hard go Holly comes out of nowhere, grabs the chair, Tess, hits Tess with a chair, then hits Big Show with the chair, RVD goes up and hits a, another frog splash on Big Show, referee comes round, counts the, the pen, and uh, but that's pretty much it, show just goes off there pretty quickly, it shows you highlights, it shows you the replay of hardcore hitting Tess and Big Show with a chair, and that's it, RVD celebrates. 
Big Show makes it that he's the man, and yet he doesn't win a match clean. It always has to be fear interfere. I know he didn't win this, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, so... Oh, I don't know. wasn't really... wasn't really a good episode. If I'm being honest, um... There wasn't very funny moments I laughed at. Well, there's a good thing where um, Joey Styles was talking about the physique of um, oh, that was all right. Rene Dupree and I know, Taz is like, that... you need to stop looking at men. <laughs> but uh, oh, overall... That's right, but that's not really... I mean, it's part. yes, it's part of the show, but, you know, it's not really... There wasn't really much to like here. I'll give this a... I don't even know what the fuck I give this. It's pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to give this a two. The opener was... I, I think... The opener was fucking great for what it was, but I didn't like the count out finish. No, but I think it kind of suits Matt Striker. No, kinda... it definitely does, but. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. I'm out. <laughs> you know, it kind of. Count out in a Singapore and a cane match? Singapore and a stick on a cane match? Well, I think if it's anyone else, I'd, I'd say, I don't know what I mean, I'd say it's pissed, but I think because it's Matt Striker, I think it actually kind of suited him. So it's oh, it did, but I didn't like it, brother. Anyway, though. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I'm not really seeing what you can I mean, I, I like the opener. But apart from that, there really no. wasn't there wasn't much else. Else, I'll give it a two. I was going to give it a one and a half, but we'll just give it a two. There you go, two out of ten, guys. Let us know what you think down below, and until next time, peace.